An update to a story we first brought you last month. We got an email from a viewer about a Sheboygan bar owner, Dave Rapinski. He was fighting some stiff liquor license stipulations from the city. He had even shut down his business because of it, which meant his employees were also losing work. Our Sheboygan County reporter Mackenzie Hamill first shared his story a couple of weeks ago and today has some good news for the workers and patrons of Dave's Who's In. He reopened just a few minutes ago at six and Mackenzie reconnected with him earlier today. That's the sound of victory, at least for Dave Rapinski. He's the owner of Dave's Who's In in Sheboygan. We're 50 years, 50 years in this business. Over the last month, he's been fighting liquor license conditions that he deemed unfair, like no underage people inside the bar and checking all patrons for weapons before entering. But no time frames were put on the conditions. I always had a problem with not having a solid timeline. It was too open-ended. On Monday night, the Sheboygan Common Council voted to remove the conditions. Everything, everything came together. I mean, it was just great. It's a big thing when a community comes together like this. I mean, to experience it, to see it is one thing, to experience it is another. Before the unanimous council vote went through, Dave closed his bar for over a month, leaving his employees without pay. The ones I spoke to two weeks ago say they understood the decision. Everybody's excited. They're ready to get going. This will give us a couple days before the weekend, kind of like a redry run, you know, when you first open up a business. That means taking the liquor from the basement and setting up the bar once again. I got to thank you for coming out here and doing all of this. I think uh, you were a key person to this. Dave's Who's In will be serving food and drinks starting tonight. We will be open tonight at 6 p.m. The word is already getting around. All right, thank you very much. See you then. From Sheboygan, Mackenzie Hamill. TMJ4 News.